Hello, and welcome to the Hawk Ridge Systems 3-Minute Knockout Video Series for SOLIDWORKS Composer. This is video 2, going over technical illustrations. Alright, we got 3 minutes on the clock. In this short video, I will be demonstrating how incredibly easy it is to create interactive and static technical illustrations using SOLIDWORKS Composer. Here, I have isolated a sub-assembly. With just a couple clicks, I can assign a custom technical illustration rendering to the model and start my exploded view creation process. By simply dragging and dropping components along any linear direction allows speedy creation of exploded views. If a mistake is made, the process of fixing it is simple. Just drag it where it should be or even reference different components for their location and translation history. Since SOLIDWORKS Composer is not a CAD program, we are not designing anything, and the rules are broken. In this free environment, we have the flexibility needed to author any content required. As you can see, I forgot a couple components in my last translation. That's no problem. With a single click, I can reference the translation of these components and apply it to the missing ones. Often, this completely eliminates the need to undo command history. If parts are located inside or behind other components, parts can be temporarily hidden by pressing the tab button. Once the obstruction is out of the way, a selection can be made and the hidden parts automatically come back. Sometimes when dealing with 3D geometry, parts tend to get lost visually. Here I'm assigning a custom rendering style to the parts to identify the components I want to bring focus to while unshading the components I want to show but not necessarily be the main focus of the illustration. All right, let's assign some BOM IDs to the parts and set up our parts list. Using the Build Materials Workshop, IDs and balloons can be easily auto-created with just a few variables assigned. Metadata can also be referenced directly from the SOLIDWORKS models and used to populate the BOM and various other authoring content, such as annotations and notes. Repositioning balloons is equally as easy. Balloons can be automatically positioned using preset locations. They can also be moved manually to a location or by using my preferred method of getting them close to where you want and using the magnetic line tool to snap them into a straight line. Any view created in Composer can be exported as a vector illustration. If there is a parts list in the illustration, parts can be set to auto highlight, easily displaying where multiple quantity parts are located. Let's wrap this up by creating an interactive link between views and between vector illustrations. Links can be made from any part, text, image, or button in Composer and linked to a variety of locations. Here I'm linking these selected parts to the view I just created. Now when these parts are selected, I'll be automatically navigated to the isolated exploded drawing. 